Mark right here. Come on, let's get some straight. Miss, right here. Yeah, my face is up here, not down here. <laughs> right here. It's disrespectful to look at me down here. I know, I know, I, I know I'm a sweet piece of eye candy, but my face is up here. Right? <laughs> we were talking about your family. That's right. Your parents, your dad, your mom. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Well, I'll tell you what, I was raised by my father. My mother left before I was born. <laughs> My dad didn't always have any either. My dad was a schizophrenic. But I tell you what, he was good people. <laughs> I tell you what, my dad, we didn't do a lot of fun things together. My dad didn't really like me very much. But I remember one glorious day, my father took me to the park. And I remember sitting there thinking, why does a frisbee appear larger the closer it gets to you? And then it hit me. I tell you what, speaking of hitting, just like these two fellas down here, my father was a photographer, and one day he got mad at me, he hit me with his camera, and to this very day, I am still having flashbacks. <laughs> well, I'm sure you went to school. Did you struggle in school? I tell you what, school, high school was a rough seven years. <laughs> I, I failed math over and over and over again. Math? How many times? How many times did you fail math? I can't tell. I don't know how many times. I tell you, my English teacher, she was all over my case because I couldn't spell Armageddon. And I told her it ain't like it's the end of the world. <laughs> but that sweet lady diagnosed me with dyslexia. And did you know that 10 out of 2 people are diagnosed with dyslexia? <laughs> 10 out of 2 people. You see, I got that backwards. It's 10 out of 8 people are not diagnosed with dyslexia. So, I tried to find something I could be successful at, Mr. Bissler, all right? So I tried to join the debating team, but then they talked me out of it. <laughs> so it was after that debacle that I just said, you know what, I'm going out of my own. I went out and got a job, all right? The first of many that are detailed in my book, I joined the circus. The circus? What did you do in the circus? Well, I started out as a trapeze artist, and then they let me go. <laughs> So from there, I went on to making clown shoes, which was no small feat. <laughs> After that job, I went to the helium gas factory, but I left because I refused to be talked to in that tone of voice. <laughs> so I got out of that business. But I tell you what, a lot of my friends from the circus, they went on to successful things. A buddy of mine, he went on to become a mime. He went off to become a mime, but I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> Another little fellow, one of my best friends, he was a little midget fellow. He got him a really high paying job, and they, but they pay him under the table. <laughs> so, my last other friend, we went together, we decided to get a manual labor job. Actually, part of the way you see these muscles on myself here, because I've been working manual labor for quite some time. 